safe trip to Sumeru City and get to meet the Dendro Archon there. I'm much better now. I'll be back on patrol again starting tomorrow. Even though I'm not quite ready to help Master clear the Withering Zones yet, there are still plenty of other tasks for me to handle. Oh, and Traveler, if you ever see Amber again during your travels, please don't mention my illness to her. Amber knows about my case of Elazar and what's happened in my past, but I haven't told her about my condition getting worse. I guess I just don't want her to worry about me. If the need arises, I'll tell her about it myself. All right, we understand, Kale. I hope you have a safe trip to Sumeru City and get to meet the Dendro Archon there. <laughs> kind of hard to believe that Master Tainari can cook, isn't it? His culinary techniques are very polished, but his taste is a little... uh... unusual? It's not really his fault, though. He just has a sensitive tongue and nose, so he prefers much lighter flavors. The last time I went a little too heavy on the spices for my pita pockets, Master started having a sneezing fit. Of course, I never heard the end of it after that. <laughs> I hope you have a safe trip to Sumeru City and get to meet the Dendro Archon there. See you later! Be sure to come back often! Even though Master didn't admit it, I'm sure he wants to see you again. Take it easy. One moment, please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. Oh, yeah, that's right. But how did you know that? Because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. But no need to worry. That won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, the Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. It's our beloved greater lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy. A treasure trove of collected knowledge. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha Terminal. As long as you are within Sumaru's borders, you may use an Akasha Terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. I should mention that due to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities, such as Sumeru City and Port Ormos. Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. It sounds pretty amazing. You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. Here are your Akasha terminals. Please handle them with care. <laughs> it kind of looks like a leash. To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Says this little doodad lets you access knowledge. Maybe we can use it to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. <gasps> Whoa! Just now, something clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. It seems all we need to do is concentrate on what we want to know, and. You get it. Oh, that'll come in real handy. Exactly. 
That is the power of the Akasha. And with that, let me officially welcome you both to Sumeru City. May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide. Okay, now that we're in, we can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let Paimon try. Hmm. <gasps> 500 years ago, the sages found a newly born deity from within some scorched ruins. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. Hmm, seems pretty similar to what Kali was telling us. Okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. Hmm. Uh, huh? Uh, Hyman doesn't sense anything. Um. The Akasha didn't respond to Paimon's question. Oh, come on! Ugh. Focusing on this question feels like when you have something you're trying to remember and it's on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't think of it. Ugh. Paimon's brain is exhausted. Oh, smart idea. But what are you going to ask it? teary-eyed all of a sudden. It feels like the people of Sumeru really miss their Archon. Huh. Could it be because we're outlanders and we've only just arrived in Sumeru? You know, maybe we're not qualified to receive answer to this sort of question or something. Hmm. You too? Well, glad it's not just Paimon. <sighs> well, seems no matter which way we try, we can't find anything that'll lead us to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hmm. Guess our only choice now is to try meeting with the researcher that Tainari recommended. He's from Sumeru and even has a position in the Academia. Maybe he'll be able to access more info from the Akasha. Let's see. Tainari wrote an address on the letter's envelope. Oh, it's not far from the city's gate. Are you Rohawi? Yes, that's me. Can I help you? Great! You see, Tainari sent us here and... What? Tainari? I... Uh, please, th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work, and maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but... Here! This is a letter from Tainari! Oh, let me see... Ah! Ooh, what a relief. You two nearly scared the life out of me. So, you two just have some questions for me? Seems even Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for procuring information. So, what is it you two would like to know? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Ah, uh, this isn't exactly my area of expertise, but let me see what I can find in the Akasha. Hmm. Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. What? You too? But what about your abilities for getting information and all that? Uh, Paimon was sure you'd be able to access more info than we did. Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. I am but a lowly researcher, so the Akasha doesn't see a need for me to know more about the Dendro Archon. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Sorastana or made a public appearance. Huh. Didn't expect her to be such a mysterious figure. The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain visitors, which would explain the lack of information in the Akasha. Aww, but then what can we do? <laughs> no need to worry just yet. I'm only hypothesizing here. 
You could certainly try asking around and see if anyone else has ideas. And besides, you two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali may not be a bad thing. In this world, there will always be information you cannot obtain from the Akasha and things you can never accomplish. Knowing when to yield is a form of wisdom. Take me, for example. It's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every three years. But Tainari? That guy can publish three papers in just a single year. Uh, okay. Thanks for your advice. Don't mention it. If you two ever want information about things like who's been promoted within the academia or relations between the six great sages, come find me. Hey, come on. This is a survival skill at the academia. Oh, Paimon's expectations were pretty low, but this is so low, it's like digging holes in the dirt. So what do we do now? Even if we want to talk to someone, we don't know anybody here. Huh? Like who? Oh, you're right! Catherine! The Adventurer's Guild has its own intel network. Let's hurry and find her. Astra Abyssosk. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. Catherine, we need your help with something. Understood. The Adventurer's Guild is always ready to serve you. With what do you require assistance? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. I apologize, but I am unable to call up any relevant information in the Akasha. I'm also unable to locate any pertinent information in my personal memory. Aww, another dead end. Well, if Catherine can't help us, then we really don't know anyone else to ask now. Please do not worry. I may know of someone who can help you two. In Sumeru, the Adventurer's Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. Rather, there are numerous active mercenary groups collectively known as the Aramites. They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru, so they naturally accrue intelligence. An Aramite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Not only are they the oldest brigade, but they are responsible for managing and coordinating the affairs of all other mercenary brigades. Corps of Thirty? What a weird name. Supposedly, they are named as such because their ranks numbered 30 at their inception. Asphant, an advisor with the Corps of 30, maintains good relations with the Adventurer's Guild. Though he's already retired, he and his words carry great weight within mercenary circles. If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the Corps of 30's headquarters, the Citadel of Regzar. You're welcome. I wish you two the best of luck. We look forward to your exploits in Sumeru. Alright! Off to the Citadel of Rigsa we go! Welcome. The Adventurer's Guild told me to expect you to. about something. I see. So, Catherine's the one who sent you this way. Ha! <laughs> it's true that the Aramites network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Wait, seriously? That's it? Ha <laughs> Afraid so. The Aramites aren't terribly religious. So we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. We originally came from the desert. 
The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in lesser lord Kusanali. Oh? Why's that? Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Although they believe in gods, most of them only care for the late greater Lord Rugadavada. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with Greater Lord Rukadavada. And not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. Really? Aww. After hearing all of that, Paimon sort of feels bad for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Ha! <laughs> but who knows? We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. Besides, I'm sure the God of Wisdom doesn't worry about her reputation among people like us. Alright, well, thanks for the info, Ospond. <laughs> no problem. Always happy to help out the Adventurer's Guild.